My name is Dr. Jeff Lockman, and I'm a developmental psychologist. When I went to college, I took a psychology course, and I fell in love with the idea of applying scientific methods to the study of behavior. I study infants and young children. What I do is use nonverbal methods in order to, in a way, enter their minds. One of the joys of being a psychologist and having a research lab is that I get to work with great students. Together, we formulate what the questions are, how we're going to conduct the study, how we're going to analyze it, and then write it up. We want to unpack the mystery of how this developmental process unfolds. We have a number of research projects that are ongoing in our lab. We're looking at how the early banging behaviors of babies sets the stage for tool use behaviors such as hammering, pounding, and so forth. We are looking at how young children fit objects into other objects. That's very important for problem solving. We're looking at the beginning of writing skills. We're looking at the eye-hand coordination component of that. When we do these studies, we're very careful to use a scientific approach. We use a set of procedures known as motion tracking or motion capture technology. This is very similar to what is used in movies. We can uncover the organization of their motor skills and what's changing with development. What I love the most about my job is constantly discovering new things. It's a little strange to think about babies teaching you something, but you know they're teaching us something all the time. From our research, we've learned that some of the building blocks for both the preschool period and later adulthood are really present in the infancy period. It helps us understand what are the milestones in development. When is a child supposed to do this? At what age? And that's very important for people in professions like physical therapists, occupational therapists, where you need to be able to diagnose whether a child is on track in development. Our research benefits teachers in schools. Our research helps parents to understand their babies better. So a baby banging an object at a restaurant may be very annoying, but if you look at it in a way that, well, this baby is really trying to explore something, it makes parents interact with their babies in a more positive way. And that's science in action.